The 2014 offseason is here, which means it's time for some thrilling spring battles, namely the fight to replace Johnny Manziel at Texas A&M. Manziel finished his career just shy of 10,000 total yards and 93 touchdowns in just two seasons and is sure to be drafted within the top five. Just like that, the Augies will have to redefine their team. Manziel claimed the Heisman and led A&M to a successful first year in the SEC. Competing for a spot are Matt Jokel, sophomore Kenny Hill, or true freshman Kyle Allen. Jokel has the most experience as a senior since he has been around for two springs. He looked solid in a short time relieving Manziel last season, finishing the year 22 of 37 for 293 yards with two touchdowns and no interceptions. Kenny Hill saw very little play time at A&M as a freshman. He threw for 183 yards and a touchdown. His athleticism will be his biggest feature and would provide a closer transition in terms of running ability than Joko. He also has experience in a college ball atmosphere. Allen is a wild card of the group, a freshman who is ranked as the number one pocket passing quarterback in the country. He is known as a pro-style quarterback, much different than Manziel's run-and-gun style. His best asset is his arm as he's demonstrated perfect accuracy along with strength. He will participate in spring ball, which means he will be competing with Hill from the start and has time to get comfortable with the A&M offensive line. Considering each quarterback's advantages, all would be made starters at a number of Division I programs, but Hill should be considered the favorite for this position. His experience within Sumlin's offensive system will be a key, as well as his relationships with both the coaches and players. Needless to say, the shoes Manziel leaves to fill are enormous as he leaves behind a legacy of success and record-breaking performances. I'm Abby Atwater for Football.com.